Today, we are checking out the Jupiter GTR, otherwise known as the 2017 Bentley Continental Super Sports, inside a drive world. So yeah, let's move on to the upgrades. For the engine, I recommend you get an i6 along with all the race upgrades. For the suspension tune, I recommend you pause the video, but I'll be scrolling through it slowly. For the gearbox, I recommend you leave it stock, but yeah, let's move on to the first race, which is Speed Avenue. Alright guys, we're here at Speed Avenue, just like I said, and yo, see you guys in a second of the results. Alright guys, looks like you can get a doable 54.2 on Speed Avenue, but yeah, let's move on to the final race, which is drag. Alright guys, we're here at drag, just like I said, and yo, yeah, see you guys in a second of the results. Alright guys, looks like you can get a doable 11.4 on drag, but yeah, let's move back to the garage so we can do some final changes before we do one last test. Alright guys, so if you haven't guessed it already, we're about to do a trailer transport job, but before we have to do that, you have to change the chassis back to stock. But yeah, let's move on to the trailer transport job. Alright guys, so we're here at the trailer transport job just like I said, and yeah, let's see how this thing can do. Alright guys, we've done the trailer transport job, but yeah, let's move on. Alright guys, so if I was you, this car's okay. For racing, the top speed is pretty decent, the acceleration is pretty decent, and the brakes are decent but a bit long. And for the handling, I don't recommend you use it for races, because this car is not really good with the corners. And for trailers, the top speed is good, the acceleration is pretty decent, the brakes are decent but a lot and the handling is decent but could spin out if you turn too hard. Overall, this is a decent weekly car for racing and pulling trailers, but there are better options for racing like the Falcon and Exotica, and there are better options for pulling trailers like the Cyberpunk and Viscount. And just in case any of you are wondering, I do have a tune on the Viscount, it's out from last week. But overall, everything about this car just makes it more of a collection car. So yeah, you guys let me know in the comments what you guys think, but other than that, huge shout out to the Cloud and Drool's helping today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.